In this video, we'll learn how to display items in a shopping app. We'll use ListView.Builder for displaying items, along with various widgets we've covered before. First, we'll create a blank Flutter project as usual. Then, we'll add a new Dart file called product underscore list underscore item dot Dart to define a class for each product, with properties such as ID, name, description, price, and image URL. We'll create a product list item constructor with these properties. Next, we'll create a new Dart file named product underscore list underscore item underscore view dot Dart to display each product item. Inside this file, we'll add a product list item view stateless widget. Declare a variable for a product list item item, import the class file, and include the item field in the constructor. Within the build function, we'll return a gesture detector to handle interactions. For now, we'll leave the onTap function empty, but in a future video, this function will open the product detail page. Inside the gesture detector, we'll add a container with padding and a row for layout. This row will contain the product image, name, description, and price. To add the product image, we'll use the ClipRect widget, where we'll set a fixed height and width and display the image with image.asset. Next, we'll add the product name and description within a column, wrapped in expanded and padding widgets. After this, we'll add another row for the price and an add to cart icon. With the icon wrapped in a gesture detector for future functionality. After this setup, we'll create a new Dart file called product underscore page dot Dart to display all products using listview.builder.
In this file, we'll create a stateful widget called products page. We'll declare a list variable for the product list item class. Import the file. and add some sample data manually. This will later be replaced by a database once we cover that topic. For now, we'll add basic product information such as ID, name, description, price, and image. The images will be stored in the assets folder and will be in PNG format. Next, we'll return listview.builder and the build function. Set the item builder function to return product list item view and pass items index as the item. The item count will be set to items.length, with padding for the list view.builder. Finally, we'll create a new Dart file called main underscore page.dart and add a main page stateful widget returning a stack widget in its build function. We'll call our products page widget inside the stack. After importing the necessary files, we'll call the main page widget in main.dart.
Once everything is set up, we'll close and restart the app. Now, the app should be running and displaying all products. In the next video, we'll add functionality to open a detailed view of each product when clicked. Subscribe now for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.